This tutorial will show you how to export a quote to Peachtree using the Peachtree accounting link. In order to use the Peachtree link, you must have already pre-configured the settings in the Peachtree link setup prior to attempting the steps in this tutorial. You can find information for this in the Peachtree accounting link chapter in the QuoteWorks manual. Please also note that the Peachtree link is available only in the professional and corporate editions of QuoteWorks. To begin, click on the Tools menu and Export to Peachtree. Or just click on the Peachtree button from the toolbar. When this window appears, it will display a list of QuoteWorks documents that have not been exported to Peachtree based on the exported status that was specified in the setup. By default, the exported status is exported. This window that you see is also referred to as the Batch Export window. In this window, you'll see several options for filtering or searching for documents you wish to export. On the Non-Exported Documents tab, the Date drop-down will enable you to filter documents by predefined date ranges, or you can specify a specific date by choosing the Custom Date filter from the drop-down and specifying the date range in the fields to the right. After you've selected your desired date range, you can choose to further filter documents by a specific sales rep from the Sales Rep drop-down menu. The field labeled Display Unexported enables you to choose whether you want to display unexported quotes, orders, invoices, or all documents. The field labeled Doc Status Not Equal To cannot be changed from this drop-down. However, it does display the exported status to let you know what the status of an already exported quote should be. The exported status must be pre-configured in the Peachtree Link Setup. The Find tab enables you to search for a document by a specific number. Right-clicking on the document will also provide you with other options to choose from including the ability to export only invoices, export only purchase orders, or even open the document so that you can view it before exporting, as well as other options. Place a check mark next to the documents you wish to export. When you're ready to begin the export, just press the export button. If the customer in the QuoteWorks document being exported to Peachtree does not exist in Peachtree, you'll be prompted to create a new customer in Peachtree. Peachtree uses a customer ID in addition to a customer name. On this screen, you can modify the default customer ID QuoteWorks generates for you. If the customer record already exists, then based on the If the Customer Does Exist option specified on the Transaction tab in the Peachtree link setup, the customer information in Peachtree can be updated with the information from the QuoteWorks document. If the item record in the quote already exists in Peachtree, then based on the options specified in the Peachtree link setup, the item cost or price in Peachtree can be updated with the information from the line item in the QuoteWorks document. Since this particular item does not exist in the Peachtree item list, the Create Peachtree Item window will appear. This window displays the item ID, the item description, the description for sales, and the description for purchases. You'll need to choose the item type of stock item, non-stock item, service, or labor. You'll also need to specify the corresponding accounts for the item. Defaults can be set for these options in the Peachtree Link setup. After your items have been added or updated, and depending on the options you've selected in the Peachtree Link Setup, you may or may not see the Select Vendors to Create POs for window. This window enables you to choose the vendors you wish to create purchase orders for. You can select individual vendors by placing a check mark next to the desired vendor, or you can use the Select All or Deselect All buttons. For this tutorial, we will not create purchase orders, so we will deselect the vendor and press OK. If the tax rate on the document does not match the tax rate for the customer in Peachtree, you'll see this warning message. Note that the export will use the tax rate for the customer as it has been set up in Peachtree. If this happens, the tax amount and grand totals in Peachtree and QuoteWorks will not match.
The export will now finish and will present you with information on the QuoteWorks document number that was exported and the document number and document type as it now appears in Peachtree. If there are no other documents you wish to export, simply click the OK button and then press close. Now let's have a look at the invoice that was created in Peachtree.